now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegade Reviews, exclusively here, as always, on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade J.J. Williams. And now that the dust has settled on my 46th birthday, it is time to keep on pushing here through Renegade Reviews. And today we're going to be discussing Sidekicks, starring Chuck Norris, Jonathan Brandis, Bo Bridges, Julia Nixon Soul, Danica McKellar, Mako, Joe Piscopo, John Buchanan, and Richard Mall. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And as I said during the introduction, the dust is now settled on my 46th birthday. I thank all of you guys who tuned in on Monday for my review of the Power Rangers, for our top 10 SummerSlam title changes. All of you that joined in the festivities and shenanigans from both shows, thank you so much. And we're here today to keep things going, keep things rolling through the week. A little bit of a martial arts week this week. Did the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And today we've got Sidekicks, starring Chuck Norris and Jonathan Brandis. Now, as the movie opens, Barry Gabruski is a troubled and bullied asthmatic boy who lives with his widowed father, Jerry, in Houston, Texas. A loner, Barry has very vivid daydreams about being Chuck Norris's sidekick, battling against Norris's movie enemies who are often personified by Barry's everyday bullies like Randy Cellini, while Noreen Chan, his favorite teacher, often plays the damsel in distress in the daydreams. Now, Barry wants to learn martial arts, but he is rejected by the arrogant dojo owner, Kelly Stone, for being too weak. Instead, he is taken on as a student by an elderly Chinese man named Mr. Lee, who is Noreen's uncle, as well as the owner of a local Chinese restaurant called the Flying Dragon. Now, Mr. Lee finds creative ways to teach Barry to defend himself from his bullies. Lee even devises training methods that increase Barry's endurance, which helps his asthma. Lee also deduces Barry's hero worship of Chuck Norris, and from that, at least some of Barry's daydreams. So he creatively incorporates this into Barry's training, devising training scenarios that seem more dangerous than they are so that Barry will feel heroic for succeeding at them. Lee attempts to enter himself, Barry, and Noreen into a local team karate tournament, but is a bit stymied to learn that the team must have four members. Chuck Norris just so happens to be attending the tournament as a guest, and Noreen, at her uncle's convincing, is able to convince Norris to join their team as their fourth. Norris is both willing to help an ardent fan, as well as having his own motivations for participating as he has encountered Kelly Stone on several prior occasions and wants to teach him a lesson in humility. Now, Barry is stunned to find that Chuck Norris is there and being able to meet him and discovering that he's going to get to work together with his hero in this tournament. Now, the tournament involves four events, breaking, men's weapons, the women's kata, and freestyle fighting. Stone's team narrowly defeats Noreen in the kata. But Lee is able to defeat Cellini, who is one of Stone's students in breaking. True to his word, Norris defeats Stone in freestyle fighting, and Barry, assisted by a very vivid daydream, scores a victory in the men's weapons competition. The result ends up being a tie in the point totals between Stone's team and Lee's team. 
In the tiebreaker, Lee is able to choose the participants and chooses Barry and Cellini, saying that Barry has the most to prove in the tournament, while Stone gets to choose the event, and he chooses breaking. Now, if Barry is dismayed to be confronting Cellini in his best event, but Lee tilts the odds in Barry's favor by using a small amount of lighter fluid to set Barry's bricks on fire. Faced now with a much more heroic-seeming task, Barry wins. And after the tournament, Barry is seen talking to Norris, thanking him for his help. Norris then vanishes, and it is implied that Barry has now found the strength to live his life without the need for his daydreams. Before the movie fades to black, a young boy finds Barry's Chuck Norris magazine. With an excited wow, the camera pans out to reveal that the young man is in a wheelchair as our movie comes to its close. Obviously, the whole point of the wheelchair being that Barry was able to overcome the obstacles to better himself, better his life, overcome the issues that kept him down like his asthma, the boy in the wheelchair can do the same thing. I put this film personally on the same level that I put Last Action Hero. As Last Action Hero was Schwarzenegger making fun of himself, having a good time, just having fun in the movie and not taking it too seriously, while not making it seem like the movie is a complete and utter joke. Chuck Norris did the very same thing in this. Chuck Norris allowed himself to be made fun of a little bit, revisiting and reshooting scenes that were similar to Lone Wolf McQuaid, Missing in Action, you know, these type of movies, The Hitman, which were some of his big movies, reshooting scenes that were either identical or similar enough that you got the idea what was going on and being able to make fun of him by having Barry in the scene with him, helping fight off these villains that he's defeated. While at the same time, not making light of the message here. And the message being that if you put your mind to it, you can overcome any obstacle in front of you. Just like Barry did winning a martial arts tournament despite his asthma. It's a great message. It's a great story. Jonathan Brandis, another one of those actors who we lost way too early, way too young. He had such potential, such just charisma about him. Go back and you watch The Never Ending Story Part 2, which is what it is for a lot of people, but Jonathan Brandis is amazing in it. You watch this. You watch him on Sequest DSV. He had it. And unfortunately, his flame and his life was taken away way too young, way too early for him to be able to tap in that potential. I was telling my girlfriend the other day, I think he could have reached Leonardo DiCaprio status, Heath Ledger status, had the tragedy that befell him not happened. And granted, Ledger died young too, but he was able to excel to another level that Brandis didn't really get to before he passed. I think had he had the longevity and hadn't died so young, he could have achieved the same caliber that Ledger was at, at least by the time that Ledger passed. And who knows where Ledger would have gone had he not passed. But I digress. By the t-shirt. That's not what we're here to talk about. Sidekicks is just a really fun action, comedy, young adult, coming-of-age martial arts film. It just kind of checks all these boxes. Danica McKellar, Winnie Cooper on The Wonder Years, 
Joe Piscopo, who had done some time on Saturday Night Live and was great in some sketches with Eddie Murphy. Richard Maul, Bull from Night Court. Bo Bridges, you know, such a good actor. We talked about Bo last year in The Wizard alongside Danica's Wonder Years co-star, Fred Savage. We'll go ahead and we'll throw the link for that right up here. If you missed that review of The Wizard, check that one out. That was last year during my birthday month. But just just a fun, feel-good movie. And I'm curious to know what you guys think about Sidekicks. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. I'm not going to give it a full five, but I definitely feel four out of five is a fair enough assessment and a fair enough rating for me when it comes to this particular film. And I'm curious to know what those of you out there who have seen it think of it. So let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's engage in that conversation. Let's discuss sidekicks, Chuck Norris, Jonathan Brandis. I'm curious to know what each and every one of you out there that has seen it thinks about it. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And it's going to be a little different, much like how I did the Kenobi series when it was airing on Disney+. Plus. I'm going to be taking a look at the new Disney Plus original series, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Each week for the next few weeks, I'll be covering episode by episode of this series. It premiered August 18th on Disney Plus, and I'm going to be covering the shows one week later each week. That way you've got a week to check them out. The series has nine episodes scheduled. So for a good couple of months, I'm going to be reviewing that every Thursday right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. Make sure you tune in every week to watch the new episodes on Disney Plus, and then a week later here to hear me talk about them. That way, I don't spoil them for you. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me here today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like this video, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed, make sure that notification bell is turned on, that way you're alerted every time a new video goes live right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. Make sure you share this video with your family, friends, loved ones, movie lovers, cinephiles, Chuck Norris fans, Jonathan Brandis fans, Danica McKellar fans, Wonder Years fans, Richard Mall fans, Night Court fans. Bo Bridges fans, fans of martial art movies, anybody you can think of that would enjoy this film, share it with them, help boost up my visibility in the YouTube algorithm so I can eventually get monetized, make some money on these endeavors. As you guys know, I've been hustling. I've been working hard to get to that point. Let's get there before the end of the year. Once again, all my fans that tuned in today, Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you guys know, and I will see you guys next time.